And well, one of the guys who uh, has no problem with accountability tonight, Ed Sumner, was in the locker room moments ago, and our Megan Triplett caught up with him. Edmund, Jock told us that you guys had to do what was necessary to get the win tonight. What did you see? Were like the, the, the details that you guys lacked? That uh, the night, I feel like the 50 50 balls and offensive rebounds killed us. Uh, I feel like they wanted it more. Um, in this league, you're never, you're never just going to come in and win. You got to earn every win. I feel like we didn't do all the little stuff necessary to get this win. Uh, literally, I feel like they just out hustled us. They were getting timely buckets and stuff like that when we needed to stop. What can you guys do against some of these physical teams that seem to have their way with you guys at times? You said what now? What, what can you guys do with some of these more physical teams that seem to be imposing? So just take that talent. Uh, I feel like that that's how the end, man. That's most of it's just us taking that talent and being all in. They don't take skill. Don't take none of that. Uh, just all of us there locked in. We won that locked in tonight. And as you see, they got the win. When it, comes on the, oh sorry, when it comes on the defensive side of things, I asked Jock about defending without fouling. And I know that's been kind of a theme these last couple of games. What have you guys seen on the defensive side of how you guys can accomplish that more? Uh, a little dumb reaching in. Uh, guys now are smart. Um, they know how to place the ball in the areas and make you think like you're going to get it. Uh, just feel like us being disciplined. Uh, sometimes guys got a good position on the guy. I reach in, now we got a foul. Um, that's just part of being locked in throughout the whole game. Um, I just see at times we do it, times we don't. Um, but at this league, we got to be more consistent with that. Losing those 50-50 balls, I mean, do you think you guys just kind of ran out of gas, you know, back-to-back <laughs> in the long run? I mean, possibly, but we don't. That's just a, that's an easy excuse. I mean, we all play in the NBA. We know this grind. Uh, we're not going to use that excuse and underplay how, how hard they worked for that win. Um, we could have brought it more. We had a chance. Um, we just didn't bring it. Um, those 50 50s, man, um, I mean, we're not that tired. We can get those 50 50 balls. Was there a moment where you sensed that the team needed you to score more? Uh, I mean, your, your role kind of changes. Um, Kai kind of was standing on me, like, yeah, hey, keep staying aggressive. Uh, man, you kind of see how the flow of the game goes. I feel like I was able to get to my spots. Um, and you just kind of go like that. Like, every game's different. Some games you got to just play your role. And sign my role, maybe just get in the paint a little bit more. Um, things were opening up for me. Uh, got some guys trusting me with the ball. So, I mean, that's really it. Isn't it? An- even though you guys lost, you guys a big game. <laughs> man, I hate losing, man. That's it. Like, this is going to be on my mind all the night. Like, you can't even harp on whatever I did. It's like, bro, I love winning. Like, winning keeps a smile on my face, man. Losing, that, that sucks, man. I'm, like, I don't care about who's going to win something or losing. Like, that's, a sore, that's just a loser, bro. You just think about yourself. And what we're trying to achieve here, I don't care about that, but we want to win. Is it an added bonus when you play your hometown teams? I mean, I think we talked about this the last time we were in Detroit, when we were in Indiana. It seems like something else comes out of you. You know, I mean, I know everybody back home get to see me play. Uh, so, you know, games like this, I'm always extra ready. I drink a little extra fast twitch. But, I mean, I don't want to say it's personal, but... I mean, I know my hometown gets to watch. Um, like I guess I love playing against my hometown. Um, but, I mean, I approach every game the same. Pistons didn't do anything to me or anything like that. I just, like I said, I love playing against the home team. And now when you guys, you guys move forward with the next couple of games, how important is it going to be to take care of the home court? You have a lot of games here at home. And what's just the overall message? Yeah, we got a long stretch here. Um, protect home court. Um, try to rally up a good amount of wins. For us, it's going to be little details. While Kev is out, we all got to lock in on little details, and that's going to help us get wins.